Hey there everybody, welcome. We're gonna to be today we're gonna to be checking out the PlayStation 4 remote play to Windows PCs or Mac. It's a very straightforward process, so join me. Remote play is the concept of playing your console through another device. Um, it's nothing new within the PlayStation line. For PlayStation 3, you were able to, uh, sh you know, remote play for some some place PSP and Vita stuff. But with the launch of PlayStation 4, they nailed down more remote play uh, with PlayStation Vita. Uh, so you can stream your PlayStation to your pl PlayStation 4 to your PlayStation Vita, PlayStation, 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 PlayStation app. You can also remote play to some Android devices, though I do not know how that is. I know they still do Vita, um, but sometime after the release of the PlayStation 4, they introduced uh, the remote play for Windows and Mac. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about that. Down in the description, you want to go down to this website where you can download the program. It's a really weird URL, remoteplay.dl.playstation.net. It's really interesting. It's not just like remoteplayplaystation.com. And from here, you have your Windows download and your Mac download. Sadly, this does not seem to work on Windows 7. So what you need is Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 uh, with your appropriate uh, processor. Um, storage, RAM, and a display, sound card. I mean, I, I guess you don't really need a sound card if you're, it's just a motherboard thing. So I don't understand why they have this. Um, and then for Mac, you need something with uh, OS X Yosemite or Mac OS, uh, you know, up to Mac OS Syria. No, <laughs> Syria, Jesus Christ. Um, Sierra, uh, with, you know, the appropriate you know specs so it's pretty simple stuff once you have that you also want to download that make sure your make sure your playstation 4 is up to the latest software um it does say 5.0 um if you haven't make sure that's all over on your playstation what you need to do is you make sure to have the remote play setting activated you go into settings scroll down to remote play and then click uh enable from there we're just going to download the playstation the windows version install this launch it there we go and it's it's gonna ask you to log in and it's gonna be all sorts of fun when I tried to do this it was a long process so I've already installed this oh, your mileage may vary for me it took me like about five minutes to install this um, because it's just the login it has a the image recapture which I always get confused at um, so you know your mileage may vary once you have that installed now you have a new icon, the PlayStation 4 Remote Play icon. So we're just going to put this down over here, launch this, check it for updates. And again, make sure your PlayStation is on or in standby mode. With that, make sure your DualShock uh, 4 is connected to your PC and not connected to your PlayStation. Sadly, if you have Steam running with big picture, uh, buttons might be weird as Steam now supports the DualShock through uh, drivers. With that, press the options button, and it's going to be searching. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Um, yeah, this is a, a your mileage may vary. Um, for me right now, I, this is a really shitty uh, kind of concept. For me, I don't see anything on my screen. Um, I am actually looking at my second screen where I do see through OBS I do see the remote play um the hell oh no it's 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 over here why did it shoot over there okay that's weird it was literally on top of my oh Jesus that's embarrassing there we go and so yes here it is in all its glory remote play um let's bring it up to full screen and again this is wired to my PC uh I've done this multiple times, and each time is completely different. Um, so let's uh, let's let's uh, let's. I, I I really can't. I'm blown away of how shitty this is. So we'll boot up Pinball FX. Um, you know, I did it a Xbox One version, and it was a lot simpler, uh, and and it was just like a lot easier. This is really kind of shitty. It's a little bit better now. My collection. Yeah, 
Let's, uh, let's play some uh, epic quest. quest. Single player and hot seat. This is not bad. Yep. I am Max, fighting for justice, peace, and valuable antique rarity. But yeah, like in, in some situations, this could be good. Um, you know, something, something not as fast paced. Game paused. But that's that's it. It's pretty easy. Um, I don't understand why the UI was so bad. I wonder. Well, I, I'm actually really impressed that it was able to clean up. Um, because when I've done this before, it just looks really shitty, as you saw in the beginning. Um, but yeah, this is the remote play for the PlayStation 4. It is pretty simple, but your mileage may vary. I've had some pretty shitty times with this, but this actually looks... I'm really glad that it's actually working for the, um, for, for, for recording purposes. But again, this also works with your PlayStation, uh, PlayStation Pro. I've heard that you can actually do PlayStation Pro does the 1080p 62 remote play. I cannot confirm that. I have it a launch day PlayStation, so uh, we have that. But there's also like the same buttons of like here's your mic, here's your mic, you know, turn it off, um, you know, share button right here. I don't know why these are here when they're already when it's using a DualShock 3. I just I find it really weird because I'm gonna press share right here, and it does that. So it, it's 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 really weird. Th this does get updated kind of regularly. I think the last time they updated this was a couple months ago, um, probably with a new firmware. But anyways, guys, I hope this video was informative. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Kaboos97. Join our public Discord link down in the description. Also, I've partnered. I also got Patreon, the best way to help me out. People like Kevin, Erica. Saber and Patrick have helped me out to that. I've also partnered up with Humble Bundle. Use those links down below. Tons of links down below to that nobody else reads. Anyways, guys, see you on the next one. Bye.